So in looking at this similarity, guys, um, so far we've talked a lot about congruence, right, with the triangles. Remember, we did all of our congruence statements. Um, where congruency, remember, stated that it had exactly the same shape and exactly the same size, right? We said two things were congruent. They were exactly the same size, same size and shape. Similarity are going to be two figures that have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. Okay. So that means they have the same shape, but they don't necessarily have the same size. That just means they're similar. So what I'd like to do is give you guys go through this example here. Okay. Those are both triangles, right? They both look like the same. Now, what if I said they're both equilateral? Meaning all their angles, or they're equiangular, actually. So if that's 60 and that's 60, that's 60 Guillermo, what does that have to be? 60, right? Well, so that means that these two three are all the same, right? All the same measurements. So what about, Elena, if I said these are all 60s? Now, even though their side lengths are not going to be the same, is it, can you now say that these side lengths are all going to be the same? Yeah. yeah. So what's important for you guys to understand is the side lengths are not equal to each other, right? However, the angles are. And since the angles are equal to each other, they have the exact same shape, OK? Because their angles are congruent. However, the side lengths are not. So similarity. These two triangles are similar. They are not congruent. Similar. Um, two figures that have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. Okay, so you can, if they are congruent, then they are similar as well. Um, but the main important thing that I want you guys to have is just to have what they're similar. And so, look at this. I don't guess I don't, maybe I stuck, 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 stuck.